guys, praise the Lord. My name is Wendy Mbogo and I'm born again. Thank you so much for joining me. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed, kindly subscribe. You will be supporting me big time and also you get notified every time I upload a new video. I am a gospel artist, a worship leader and a songwriter by God's grace. And uh, this journey, I promise to walk this journey with you. And I was just sitting and I thought of the first song I ever wrote. How did I write my first song? Watch this video up to the end and you'll get to hear the first song I ever wrote. When was that and uh, what are the events that made me write my first song? So it's actually a very funny and interesting story. Uh, when I was growing up, I knew I wanted to be a gospel artist. Lakini ni kama haikuwa imeni hit that to be a gospel artist, you have to write your own songs. Haiko imeni hit, by the way. Me, I used to love singing songs and I loved singing other people's songs, but I never at any point attempted to write my own. So I was these kids, very confident in church. I was always ready for a presentation. Uh, all the time, every Sunday, had in school, the people used to actually nickname me Betty Bio and other musicians because every time a song would be out, I would learn it very fast and I would sing it in church, sing it in school, and even in events like weddings. Mimi, uh, weddings, the village, yet to yote. <laughs> like, sikuwa nakosa kwa presentation, nadi kusema poems. I love doing that. I love doing that. And then, sasa after some time, nikanza ku feel like, uh, me sasa staki kuimba mbele ya watu like i just felt like nime outgrow hiyo kitu like nimekuwa mkubwa sasa so it so happened that a friend of mine older than me of course was getting married and she was doing a wedding she's from my church and then she came and approached me and told me by the way wendy kwa wedding yangu lazima utatuimbia ah mimi wote i mean <laughs> i i was so not ready for that. And nikajaribu ku resist, nikamwambia aa zi mimi mm, I'm too old for this. But yeye hata hakujali. She just told me by the way ujue nishakuandikisha kwa presentation so get ready you'll sing in my wedding. Hey, wacha nipate stress. Wacha nipate stress. What am I going to sing now? Where am I going to start? For the first time in my life, I felt like I don't have a song to sing. Now, it's not like I didn't really have a song to sing. It's just that I didn't want to sing. So, I, that thing stressed me out. I mean, in Kalenga for the first few days, but siku ya arusi in a Caribbean. Days are closing by. I still do not have a song to sing. And I nika realize that they are too serious. Siku ya arusi tafika, siyezi hata arusi, of course. Alafu nitaitu hapo mbele na sita kuwa na kitu ya kuimba. So I had better think of something. He, mimi iyo kitu honestly ilinisumbua akili. And then for the first time in my life, an idea hit me. How about I write my own song and sing it on the wedding? For the first time I thought of writing my own song. It, it's a crazy idea because honestly when you've never written a song it's so hard. How do you even start? Unatua wapi tune. Iyo kwanza hata yon diyo stress. Wacha maneno, tiyo nunatoa wapi. So, okay, I thought to myself, why don't I just attempt? Wacha tu niji challenge, nijaribu. Kama hakuna kitu itakuja, kama ita ingiana vizuri, nichore yo story na niachane na yo. He, ndo yo mimi nikanza kuandika wimbo, nikanza kueka tu words hapo, naeka katiu, nasikia, ah, imeuma njezi, yo kitu, ah, ah. So, I tried so many styles, I tried so many ways, na still nikuwa nasikia kisound so lame and crazy and boring. Nikajaribu different melodies, nikajaribu, nikajaribu. It was so hard, but I remember I took a whole day trying to write a song. I didn't kwa ajuza, kwani, kwani wenye wanaimbanga ni magicians, how do you come up with a sweet melody? How does a song sound like a real song? Because me, what I was scribbling down... Ay, it was not sounding like, like a real song. Nika come up na kakitu hapo ivo, nikaenda nikaimbia mamangu, nika muliza, nika muambia niambia how it is. My mom laughed at me. Lakini sasa, I didn't have an option. Siku another way, siku ya rusi ina karibi, I just have to sing something. Mi nika mua, you know what, iye nye ni meandika, mi I'm just going to sing it either way. Like, kama mbaya mbaya, let me just wait for that day, ni imbe, and I get this thing over and done with. And I promise myself, I will never sing in any other person's wedding again. Hey, <laughs> nika sema, nisawa, let me just try to 
fix this kidogo and then i'm just going to sing it sasa ni ile ya kujichocha unajiambia ai kwa ni yao wenye watakuwa nanisikiza wameandika nyimbo ngapi ndio waniambia nyimbo yangu ni mbaya nitaimba watanipeleka wapi what's the worst that they can do nikajichocha nikajichocha lakini deep down me i was so like nervous nilikuwa tu naambia mungu we go just let this day come hiyo part ishe and i just forget about it kabisa 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 Siku ya harusi ikafika wadau. Wendi Mbogwa ameandika kawimbo kake hapo. Eh, I am shaking like a leaf. <laughs> I am trembling. I am sweating. I am everything. Yaani unajua it's one thing to write a song, it's another thing to let somebody else hear your song. Guy, that thing is so it, it, it was freaking me out honestly. It was freaking me out. Lakini I just had to siku ya harusi imefika. I remember I was wearing a blue dress. I wish I can find that video and I'll try to trace it. Maybe the day I'll find that video yeah how I sang that day I'm going to share it on my YouTube channel. So <laughs> siku ya harusi imefika. Nikaenda nikaangalia venye watu wamejazana kwa hiyo kanisa. Nikasema I am going to embarrass myself in front of all these people. I am doomed. I was wishing the world would open up and swallow me. It was a it was a moment that I never want to remember actually. Lakini right now when I remember it I laugh about it cuz ilipita. So uh, service imeanza and boom time ya presentation imefika when Dimbogwa itwa. She was serious. Alikuwa ameniandikisha presentation wa say I was in the list. Na nikaitwa. So I just walked up oh, I remember hadi nilikuwa na triple like ata guy nilikuwa tu all scared he nikasimama mbele ya watu nikashika microphone and I started singing <laughs> nikaimba I thought I would collapse before I finish singing but thankfully I didn't collapse I didn't faint I sang up to the end and people clapped. I don't know why they clapped. I don't know whether they clapped because it was nice ama they were just being polite ama it's just a uh, kitu ya kawaida ku clap after somebody does something. But they did clap and nikaamua sasa mimi nime I was actually thinking of kutoka hiyo harusi na niende because I was feeling like I cannot stand the embarrassment. Lakini hata nikajiza ai Mbona niende siendi mahali na kaa huku anione ni mimi nilimba na hiyo wimbo ilikuwa my own composition kwani ni wangapi wameandika own composition zao so nikajichocha and actually didn't leave the wedding i stayed so <laughs> you guys want to know the song first of all it was a kikuyu love song nasemanga kama ningeendelea na hiyo line mimi na Joyce wa mama na Samido tungekuwa hivi <laughs> It was a Kikuyu love song and I decided to I, w- I was just trying to be creative. I decided to mash it up with another song that is known. Ndio it sound at least nice. And uh, I'm going to sing it right now. Please be nice. I was very young by the way. Be nice. Be nice in the comment section. Be nice. This was it. I will interpret it for those who do not understand Kikuyu, but this was it. Mwedwa wa kwa mudene de heta Votora na weginya gakwa Hario godhie ni ene ho godhie Hadwa nyu matwe kia ito Gai wakwa teke wakwa Neda hoya gaya tora dhine Tene na tene ture tue daine Wewe keha yoku maigoro Na nyo hotete goro eno ya kwa Mwe dedira kore yone nyamu Mwe dua gwete reire Gwete reire Gwete reire Mwe dua gwete reire Gwete reire Ne da hoya gaya tora dhine Tene na tene tore tue daine Wewe keheyo kumaigoro 
Nani o hote te goro e no ya kwa muedua. That was the first song I ever wrote. It means that uh, the Quran says, Nedaho ya gaya tura dime. I pray that God will bless us. Tene na tene tutura tuwe daine. That we will forever love each other. Wewe ki heo kume igoro. You are a gift from above. Na nyoho tete goro eno ya kwa. And you have won my heart. That was nice, I think. <laughs> like, I tried, Manze. I tried. So that was the first song I ever wrote. And I sang it on Mary Ann Rogoro and Douglas Mwangi. Yes. That was the couple that I sang for that time back then. Kitambo sana. And I actually want to thank them. I want to thank Mary Ann because she challenged me to write my first song. Maybe her could realize your time haku anajua ati ameni throw into the fire for na imeni, imeni push kupanya kitu outside the box. Her could realize by the way. Yaya linambia tu niimbe kwa rusi yake. But it actually challenged me to write my first song. Maybe if I never attempted to write my first song. Singe oi jua that I can actually write a song. Singe wai try ata kukua better in songwriting. Singe wai maybe singe wai attempt tena. But you see from that time I started you know kujiamini by the way inaweza imba kwani? And then nikaanza sasa kujichallenge even to write other songs and it has only gotten better with time. So actually they challenged me and I just want to thank them so much. Mary Ann Rogoro, thank you for challenging me to write my first song. So your song, I was actually thinking about it and Ilikuwa imetoka kwa scripture. It was a love song, but it was birthed from the scriptures. And that is something I noticed, that God taught me to write songs from the scripture, from the from Nikiwa Mdogo Sana. It was a love song, but I actually have said in the stanza, I have quoted what Ruth said, that where you go, I'll go, your people will be my people, your God will be my God. I quoted a scripture in my first song, so it's like God alikuwa shanza kunifunza vitu za writing songs from the scripture, even before I ever realized that I can write a song. Na, he has walked me that journey of songwriting, and right now, by God's grace, I have written over 50 songs, which I hope I'll be releasing uh, as time goes by and as God graces me and uh, opens doors for me. So that was the first song I ever wrote. Say, say maybe in Tide Dedicate a dear future husband, if you're watching this video or if you ever watch this video, I have dedicated that song to you because that time I was just singing for that couple. But it really challenged me. And I thank God because that moment ili ni define na ikanifanya who I am today. Right now, songwriting is actually almost putting food on my table. So i mambo ilikuwa mambo ya mungu too. Sometimes i nakuanga mambo ya mungu na atujuangi. Yana tupitisha some situations, others that feel awkward. Lakini he has a plan for you na he knows what he wants you to become and he knows what he wants to get out of you. But, and uh, I realize it's now my purpose. I am living my purpose, songwriting, song producing, and it's blessing many people. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love and encouragement and your prayers. That was the first song I ever wrote, and I hope you enjoyed that video. Subscribe, like, comment, share. I love you guys. Bye-bye.